Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I like to do is show you how to uh, determine the sum of this infinite geometric sequence. And to go ahead and, and do this, what I first need to do is look at my sum and determine, all right, I need to figure out what a sub 1 and what r is. Now, in the format that I wrote in this segmentation, we're starting at 0, and then it goes and goes up to i. And you can see here, we start at 1, and it's i minus 1. Now, it's not really going to affect us at all, because if I still want to find a sub 1, I'm going to plug in my first term. So when I plug in 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So your r, I, 1 over 10 raised to 0, is still going to be 1. So our a sub 1 is, is going to be 6 in this case. Um, so s equals 6 divided by 1 minus. And again, our r is just going to be what's raised up to our i, which is dot, 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 1 tenth. So to subtract 1 from 1 tenth, uh, what I like to do is rewrite 1 as 10 over 10, so they have the same denominator. All right. So therefore, um, when I solve that across, I get 6 in my numerator divided by 10 over 10. So 10 minus 1 is 9 over 10. And that's going to pretty much equal 6 divided by 0. 0.9. Then to write this as a fraction, um, to write this back over as a fraction, I can multiply by 10 over 10 again. And therefore, what I get is 60 over 9, which we can reduce to a fraction of 20 over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence. Thanks.